Hello, welcome to Dungeon Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, for our finale of Christmas month, we're reviewing Kazuo Yamesu Horror Feeder Presents The Present, which is um, directed by Yudai Yamaguchi, starring Yoko Mitsuya, Takamasa Suga, or is that Sugai? I don't know. As Ryosuke Seiko Waidai, Hitomi Karahara as Rie, Kiyo Oshiro as Yuko, which I think that's the girl from Garo, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. And you have Nariko Tsunami, they're not showing picture for that one. And for Santa Claus in this movie, um, he, he's credited as Randall Himes. Which I'm not 100 percent sure if they meant Heinz, if they or and they were mistaken, but yeah, it's spelled like H I M E S. I'm assuming they meant Heinz, but like I don't know. <laughs> so what? Um, this is Kazuo Yamesu's horror feeder. Kazuo Yamesu is a famous horror mangaka from Japan. Uh, he's kind of a weird dude. He, he dresses like. Um, Waldo from Where's Waldo? <laughs> and even has like a similar hat. Um, my first um, well, introduction to him was from The Drifting Classroom, which I have the first volume of it. I can't even remember if I finished it. I, I, I tried looking for it, I couldn't find it. Um, and um, Cat, he did Cat Eyed Boy, and he did um, this OVA movie. Kazumimesu's um, Nightmare or something like that. I can't remember. It's about like two... Sorry, it's about a bunch of uh, high school girls go into a haunted house and get cut to pieces. <laughs> but they all wake up and it's like a nightmare or something. Which is kind of similar to this. So like, um, the main character is this girl named Yuko. Who, you see her as a kid wake up from a nightmare... It's like Christmas Eve. Her parents, like you know, uh, show uh, go to her room, tell her, "Hey, you know, you gotta go back to sleep, or Santa Claus isn't gonna give you some presents, and you have to be a good girl." And her dad says this thing: "You have to be a good girl, or Santa Claus is gonna come, come and get you." Uh, years later, um, Yuko is a young woman living at an apartment <laughs> uh it's christmas i'm not sure if they said it was christmas eve or christmas night but you know she's going out with her friends uh to a club to meet up with some boys she's she wrote like a christmas card to her boyfriend ryosuke saying like uh for happy merry christmas and my present to you is me and like you know at this point, she acts like, you know, like an innocent, like, shy girl. You know, she's very silent. Um, what happens after that, that, they go into this taxi, which looks like a fucking limbo, but has, like, a taxi sign on it. So I I guess they have, like, those kind of limbo services where they'll, they'll have, like, taxi taxi signs on them. I don't know. Whenever I had the I got to drive in a limbo. Um... They never had that shit, but whatever, right? <laughs> They're on their way to a, ho a, a love hotel, right? Which looks like... You see the love hotel. Um, at one point, she's looking at it uh, from um, while they're on the road. And, like, it looks straight up like fucking the Rothschild's mansion from fucking Eyes Wide Shut, which I still need to review that movie. I, I just decided not to review it for, like, Christmas month because it's a very dark movie. And it's not really a fictional movie. It's like a movie where, like, you know, like, uh, Stanley Kubrick died trying to warn people about the Rothschilds and how evil they are. <laughs> so, like, yeah, they, they go to this love hotel, um, where it looks like straight up the fucking Rothschild mansion, right? At least from the off outside it does. Um, they go, they rent the rooms and the guy at the, you know, cashier, you know, is this tall white guy with blue eyes who looks like Santa Claus. But like to another girl, it looked like a woman inside. 
in a um, Santa Claus outfit, which you don't ever see other people's pers different perspectives on Santa Claus. You just see Yuko Yuko's perspective, and after that, you know she. There's like a mo a montage where she has sex with Ryosuke. After that, um, they there's like an earthquake. They come out of the room. There, I'm gonna spoil the whole thing, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't know that. Um, and like shit hits the fan. They they look they see like two of their friends. You have like three couples that went with them to this love hotel, right? Uh, they see one of the couple. Um, they they were torn to sh uh, torn to sh shreds. It looked like they were get getting cut in half by fucking guts from Berserk. <laughs> and they um, around the corner they see one of the other girls running towards them. Right uh, behind her is her boyfriend who like who's like all bloody in the face, can't see. Out of nowhere, from around the corner, this chain wraps around his leg and pulls his leg straight up. <laughs> so at that point, I'm like. What the fuck? Does Santa Claus have, like, uh, Spawn's powers? <laughs> Where, like, Spawn can control, like, chains and shit? It turns out he doesn't. It's, like, a fucking, like, star. Uh, uh, like, a bladed star attached to the end of a chain. Right? So, um, Santa Claus is killing th uh, these... Uh, these people because you know they were having premarital sex on Christmas Eve. They desecrated the holy night that is Christmas, <laughs> right? Um, so like after that, you know they get chased around by um, Santa Claus. There's this weird scene where like you know, Ryosuke is holding back you know Santa Claus from getting um, into the stair stairwell, right? Um, he goes, they switch perspectives, and, like, he's, like, looking around, Santa Claus is not there. Then, at the bottom of the stairwell, the two girls emerge out, and, like, Santa Claus is there. And it does this weird thing where, the, where like, it cuts, the, the, like, your TV will cut, uh, cut the black, and there's no sound. But then it'll come back, and you, you'll see what's going on, and it'll cut back, and then... It, like everything will black out and then like you see Santa Claus has like this butcher's table meat grinder where he's chopping ch chopping a piece, uh, pieces of meat he's putting brains ripping off nails and putting them ripping off fingers putting them in the bucket the girl Yuko is for some reason still alive and woke up in the in the corner of the room uh, Santa Claus takes the bucket full of brains and like arms and shit and feeds it to two of his reindeer, which will be porn later on. But like, yeah, he, you see him feed like pieces of human to like um, the reindeer, which is very reminiscent of like um, something the Rothschilds would do, where they would have like satanic magic, where they they would have. Um, on their menus for like their satanic like parties they would have like all the all the items would sound like human <laughs> and shit and like if you looked at like um katy perry's like uh music video i forget which one but it's the one where she's like uh she's like served up as like you know uh, like something to eat <laughs> and like you're seeing her like getting cut up and being served to people that's very reminiscent of like a f that famous scene this chick who's known for her like um spare cooking parties that she's all she's all friends with all the hollywood hollywood elite like lady gaga and shit they apparently do that shit at the rothschilds party so I, this this uh movie is very base like you can tell like um that you know they that you know kazuya yamesu probably has seen um has seen um what's it <laughs> sorry has seen um eyes wide shot and this came out in 2005 by the way so that's you know that's like f five or six years after eyes wide shot came out uh yeah so after that like um her boyfriend taps her on the shoulder uh to tell her, hey, let's get out, let's sneak out of here. And like that whole scene, like screamed of um, 
something from Evil Within and like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, he goes to get up and like he, he can't feel his like left leg and he's like, ah, I can't feel my left leg. Then you see Santa Claus lift up this like this uh, leg, which clearly looks like a male's left leg, stripping off the jeans from it to put it in his grinder or whatever. <laughs> and then the one Ryosuke realizes that 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 he lost his leg at some point. <laughs> Freaks the fuck out, you know. Um, Santa Claus kills him. The one girl runs away, and then like she wakes up from her dream, <laughs> and it, her sorry her nightmare, and then. You know, um, after that, like, you, you get the, this montage where you find out, yeah, Yuko isn't as pure or innocent as she lets on. She's actually kind of a slutty bitch. You, you hear, like, you see a scene where she's talking to her friends about how if you want to get, you know, um, boys to like, you have to, like, act innocent or whatever. So it's like, it's like the idea of you have to, like, of the girl next door persona, right? Uh, after that, um, she re like uh, she gets killed <laughs> again. Like uh, she opens, she gets a call from her friend, opens up her like fridge, realizes it's her friend's head and like hands and her phone that falls out of her fridge. She she like checks the back of her head. There's a hole and there's like ma maggots coming. Uh, from the, her wound, and then, like, uh, there, a girl comes up from behind her, and, like, pulls her brains out of, like, the hole in her head, and, like, uh, after that, you wake up, and it cuts back to the beginning of the movie, where the girl has the, has the nightmare, right, uh, well, actually, no, it's, like, Christmas morning, right, sorry, my mistake, it's Christmas morning, uh, back to the little girl, uh, she tells her parents her dream that she had where she pulled off the pulled out the evil ones Ronnie brings and then like you know the mom's talking to dad like oh we really shouldn't let our daughter watch those <laughs> watch those like blood spatter um, horror movies right uh, and after that you know she gets her Christmas present which is like a, sa a stuffed Santa Claus doll and two reindeer uh, stuffed dolls. And, like, it ends with her mo uh, mom and dad saying, like, oh, I'm sure, like, when she uh, grows up, she'll be as sweet as innocent as she is as a little girl. So the, mo the moral of the movie is kids shouldn't watch horror movies <laughs> because, you know, it's, it'll turn them into terrible people. <laughs> Which is, I guess, is kind of, um, you know... Good moral for a story? I'm not 100% sure. Then again, when I was a little kid, uh, I couldn't watch, like, horror movies that had gore in it like, until I was in my teens or, like, late teens, right? I could only watch, like, haunted horror movies or, like, slashers that were, like, you know, that didn't have that much gore in it, like the Friday the 13th movies. and Not Friday the 13th movies. Um, the Halloween movies. That, that, that Those were, like, pretty much the only slashers I would watch as a kid. And, and Scream, too. Because, like, the, those, the Scream movies uh, didn't have any gore. So, like, um, what was cool about the movie? There's no nudity, by the way. Because it's, like, it's only, like, 47 minutes. It's, like, the length of, a, like, a TV. Like, a short TV movie that, you know, Japan has, like, really short TV movies. Um, there was really cool industrial music. <laughs> which remind me of Shinya... Sumoto or Nakamoto, I can't, I can't remember the, the guy's name. The guy from, the guy who directed, uh, what was the name of those movies? <laughs> I'm just gonna pause for a sec. Yeah, the, the industrial music reminded me of Shinya Tsukamoto movies. The guy who directed, like, Tetsuo the Iron Man, and, um, what was, what was some other movies he did? So it's not showing me a lot. He did like Ted Sold the Bullet Man, shit like that. I think he he did like Electric Dragon, like Six Thousand or whatever. Yeah, his movies has like a lot of industrial um, soundtracks and that, um, which I thought was pretty cool. The gore effects in the movie were pretty cool. Um, 
And, like, the, you know, the whole reveal that the girl wasn't actually, you know, what she, um, how she portrayed herself to the boyfriend, I thought was, like, pr uh, pretty cool. And then, then there's the fact that, you know, um, I, though there was a second where, like, I was confused whether or not it was actually Santa Claus, but, and not, like, you know, some kind of demon that, like, looks different. Uh, that some kind of demon that like is just portraying itself as Santa Claus because he looks different to the other people but then like to the other people the one girl she had like a fenless mom so she was told like Santa Claus was a girl and that's why she was seeing like a girl in a Santa Claus uh, Santa Claus costume the other guy uh, saw his father as Santa Claus because you know he probably never believed in Santa Claus in the first place uh, probably uh, thought that you know like um was told like you know his parents or whatever gave him uh gifts as a kid so i don't know if i were to give this a rating i mean it's pretty short but i would say for what it is you know it's it's a seven out of ten but like you gotta understand with the it has aesthetically it looks like you know a mid-2000s japanese tv drama which you know japanese tv dramas even like the mid-2000s look like our dramas from the late 90s <laughs> so it has this like late 90s aesthetic but it did come out in mid 2005 uh in 2005 which i want to i need to check to see if that yuko girl was in garo because i think that she did she was in garo yeah it's not showing me anything Fuck. there's like there was like my drama list like let's check that shit Which is like a spinoff of my anime list. Oh, apparently there was a bunch of Kazumetsu's like horror figure. There's a there's at least five here: Bug House, Death Make, Diet, The Wish, Snake Girl. Uh, oh, so there's like six in total, but there's like uh, five other ones. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Okay, let's like look up this uh, actress. Oh, it, it totally isn't the girl from Garo. Fuck. It kind of looked like it. When did fucking Garo come out? God damn it. Yeah, the website's not working on it. <laughs> she was in Sky High too. What the fuck? That that can't be what I think. It, one, they didn't make a sequel to Sky High, did they? No, it's some Japanese movie. Okay, yeah, because I was about to say there wasn't there wasn't a fucking sequel to that Sky High, that fucking superhero movie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the end of my review. I gave it like what I gave it like a seven out of ten. Uh, later tonight, I'm uh, I'm gonna record a podcast. For our New Year's special. And I'm going to have like a channel update at the end of the podcast. In the p podcast we're going to talk about shit that happened this year. I'm going to recap my Christmas. Uh, my favorite movies of the year. And what movies I'm looking forward to. Um, you know. Maybe I'll talk about games that came out this year. And games I'm looking forward to. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah but I'm going to have a important uh, update channel update at the end so uh, make sure to check out that podcast just to see the end of that uh, channel update and also yeah if you like the content please like and subscribe and even if you didn't like it feel feel to, feel free to dislike and comment about it i don't delete comments unless it's like you know obviously like you know a, a bot or something linking to some porn site which I, I get those sometimes where you, you have these Japanese bots not Japanese bots uh, Russian bots or whatever that that, po that post links to fucking porn sites and shit I, I delete those but pretty much you can pretty much comment anything you know and I, I'll leave it up alright peace And that, but sometimes YouTube deletes, deletes comments and then there's like, like nothing I can do about it alright bye